Hello internet enthusiasts. So a little while ago they released a game, a new game called Chrono Photo. Basically they share an image and you have to guess what year the image was taken. But some genius has decided to pair Chrono Photo with GeoGuessr. And this is it. We're about to play it. I'm looking forward to it. So let's go. All right. Okay. Wow. All right. This is, is there a time limit? No, thank goodness. This is quite hilarious. This is going to be pretty recent. These two lads over here with the t-shirts tucked into their pants, they're drinking tall cans of Fosters, which is famously an Australian beer. However, it is not a very popular drink in Australia. It's more popular in the UK, but you can still buy it here, obviously. Let's just take a look over here. What else have we got? Like it very well could be some Australians though. Anyway, this security guard's having a tough, tough time of it. He's got a shirt that says leisure and sporting crowd party steward. Oh God. Um, what a time. Where did, where, did, where did this photo come from? Guys, we're in some fairly heavy gold. I wonder what that says. F cure, find a cure, big. That doesn't say big day out or something, does it? Like I get the, the feeling it's a music festival, but maybe not. There's some interesting stones here. So my first thoughts were not Australia because of the Fosters. The second thought was Gallipoli because Australians like to travel to Gallipoli for a dawn service and it turns into a big piss fest but I don't think this is that could this be like Stonehenge or something is this like a party at Stonehenge surely not surely that is not what's taking place here these are just random rocks in some random location I have to guess I have to guess the UK based on the Fosters I'll be if this is Australia this will be the first time I've ever seen an Australian unless they're tourists drinking a can of Fosters. Now for the time in which this was taken, this woman looks like she's wearing, oh no, I thought she was wearing a pair of Havianas, although people still wear those. This guy's got the Adidas and this guy's got some loose jeans. I feel like this style of jean is maybe like early 2000s. So we'll place the pin, I'll, I'm going to chuck it on to 2002 I think. I think. For a couple of reasons. One, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 people in this photo approximately. And I can't see a single iPhone. So it's definitely not past 2010. I think it could possibly be the early 90s or the early 2000s. Not the early 90s, late 90s, early 2000s. So yeah, 2002 is... I go 2006. That might be a bit late. Probably overthinking this. What about the hairstyles? Nothing there. I'm sticking with 2006. Actually, no, I'm going to go back. Back to 2002, my original guess. And I think this will be in the UK. It has to be. It has to be in the UK. But where? I'm just going to pick somewhere in London. I'm going to pick somewhere like, mm, I don't know, Watford. That'll do. Let's make the guess. Oof. Okay, so it was 2005. Would you look at this? It was Stonehenge. <laughs> After all, stewards from English Heritage tried to remove a drunken reveler from standing on one, one of the stones at Stonehenge's 2005 summer solstice. That's disappointing. I thought so, but I just thought, how? Why was this allowed to take place? It's such a like closely guarded area. I just can't imagine that they would let a party take place there. Anyway, pretty happy with how I went overall 2005. I nearly went 2006 and uh, yeah, I did say Stonehenge. Anyway, so with this game, you can get it for each round. You can get a total of 10,000 points per round for a total of 50,000 points for a set of five. I think this is the daily, so it might be the only one. I got 8988, which is, is pretty good, I think. So yeah, let's go to the next round. If there is one, we'll see. That might have just been the daily. No, it says round two. Ooh, interesting. Okay, okay. Well, this is curious. Something quite significant is taking place here because the chaps are removing bricks and they've 
obscured their faces. Hmm, this is this is a hard one. So I don't really know what's happening here, but I think oh this chap's throwing a brick at the camera, maybe? I don't know. Some kind of anarchy. Over here we have some language and it looks Dutch to me. And I feel like this cobblestone kind of looks like something you might find in Amsterdam as well. So I'm going to guess Amsterdam for my location and time, I, th I think the 80s. The boots, the shoes, the jeans, the hair, the jacket, and <laughs> the glasses. So I think, I think 80s in Amsterdam. So let's go, oh, how do I, yeah, go to the Netherlands, Amsterdam. I'll just pick somewhere in the inner area. And yeah, I think I will go with, can I change that? 80. How do I change the date? I want to change this to 1980. Oh, here we go. Whoops. 80, do you think? I said 80s. We'll go with that. Amsterdam, 1980. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, God. So it was 1984. I was four years off. But activists protesting against the eviction of squatters house in Amsterdam. Shit. Fuck yeah. Got an even better score that time, 9284. That was 800 meters away from the location. Unreal. Good. Good deduction. Where's the image? It's loading. Come on, time guesser. Ooh, interesting. This looks like quite a modern image. Got a young fellow here, young boy. It's in his school jacket, I think. School shoes and school pants. He's in London. And I think this would be post 2010. This guy's in really enjoying a kebab here. Time wise, what have we got? Hollister doesn't say. I, I think it's London from what I can see. Okay. Here's an overground or underground tube station, so that's something. Curiously, though, I can't see them holding any iPhones. That doesn't necessarily mean they're not in existence yet. Usually when you look at a photo these days, oh here we go, this guy's looking at an iPhone. So so I think iPhones were released in 2007 or 2008. So that's still, you know, what, like 12, 15 years to play with. But I do think this is probably after 2020. Although that being said, nobody's wearing masks. So I'm going to narrow it down to between 2007 and 2019. Oh, hold on. 2007 to 2019. It's still a long gap, isn't it? I think, I don't think it's before 2010. I actually don't even think it's before 2015. I think it's going to be between 2015 and 2019 or even 2020. I think 2019 is, hmm, 2018 or 2019 is what I'm going to go for. Just double check and make sure I can't see any masks. Usually you'll still, oh, that's a beard up. Oh. I think that guy's got a mask around his jaw there. I think he does. So with that in mind, I don't really know how, like, I think they were quite lax with mask wearing in, in London compared to say Melbourne or Australia. But I do think this looks like the tail end of the the troubles, <laughs> that the global troubles we, we had together. That guy might have a mask, it could be a beard. I think I'm gonna go 2021 for this one. 2021. No, because that's right in the middle. I'm going to go 2022. All right. Could be, could be really wrong, but 2022 is my guess. And I'm going to go London in England for that one. Hope I'm right. Can't really be bothered picking, finding a station, but let's just say it's somewhere. It looks like it's on the main drag. We'll go somewhere near here. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. How is that? Deduction. So it's my mate Kieran. I assume that's how you say it. I, I guess this is like Welsh or Gaelic or something. I don't know. That's not my forte. And he's on Regent Street. Okay, let's see if I happen to plonk anywhere near Regent Street. I was pretty bloody close, two kilometers away from Regent Street. I was at least I was on the on the right side of the Thames. So Look at this score, 9945. Unbelievable. 2022. Nailed it. 
Excellent. All right, let's go on to the next round and see if I can keep up this. Yeah, keep up this run. I'm doing really well. I'm so chuffed. All right, something will happen to throw throw all that down the drain. You watch. It's loading. We're traveling through time. Oh yeah, this is gonna be really difficult. This is going to be very difficult. All right, let me just take it all in. Okay, so this is especially tricky. Uh, got a boat here that says something. I really don't know. So these is these are the Pan African colors which appear on a lot of African flags. So that is certainly going to be this is cer certainly going to be a country in Africa. Now, what does that say? I'm really not sure. Name something in the D A. Mm, this looks fun. Um, shipping lane out here. So if we go to Africa, where are the main shipping routes? There are several, several that go past the Horn here and there's, I mean, there's lots of them. I actually think now that I take another look, I think this is Dakar, which is in Senegal. So this could be the port in Dakar, maybe. Pretty sure maybe this, the flag of Senegal has the Pan-African green, red and yellow but there are lots of countries with that. This feels okay to me as a guess. I'm, yeah, I don't really know what else to pick. So presumably, presumably it's been taken from this side. We don't have a compass to work with here because we can see this little loop around bit. Perhaps he's jumping off here somewhere. I don't know, but I'm going to go for that. And time-wise is tricky. The image looks quite modern. Board shorts, don't know. It's got those wristbands on that were popular in the like 2015s or the probably earlier, let's face it. Yeah, it would have been popular since 2004 until I guess 2010 maybe, I don't know. But I think it's a bit later than that. Maybe this between 2004 and 2010 will spew, but the image quality is quite good, I think. don't think you would have got a uh, maybe you would have. Anyway, I think the location's good, but timeline-wise, not 100% sure. But I think picking somewhere around oh, 2016 will do. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. So it was 2018, and it was Senegal. It's the Senegalese youths jumping into the Atlantic Sea during their holidays. I'm absolutely crushing this. 9679. Far out. So, oh, where was the. It was out on this island, though. Very close. All right. Is this the next. This is the final round, I think. Yeah, so I got 4,800 for the year score. It's two years off, and this is the location score. Let's go for the last round. Okay. I think it's the last round. Fingers crossed for a really good location just to cap off this pretty good run at. This game, Time Guesser, my first go. All right, please be something easy. <laughs> oh no, nah, nah, nah. I'm stuffed. I'm stuffed. I'm stuffed. Oh no, is this guy doing what I think he's doing? No, I bloody hope he isn't. All right, so he's either slapping this guy in the face or he is giving a certain sign. I don't know. I've got a word back here. It says Kalus. Maybe somewhere Scandinavian, but that's debatable. Time-wise, I mean, like these hats and these jackets, I feel like you, you may potentially see them from anywhere between, you know, the 40s up until the 80s almost. But I think, like, the street looks very clean and I'm not, sh I'm shying away from the 40s or the 50s or the 60s even. Well, maybe the 60s, because this haircut looks, well, it looks kind of like it could be an 80s haircut, but I mean, this woman's skirt and shoes look more like late 60s, early 70s, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. It's a black and white photo too, so that's throwing me slightly as well. Anyway, I think this might be like, I don't know. Let's have a look. I was thinking Norway, 
Oslo or Stockholm, Sweden, or even Finland, Helsinki, maybe even, oh God, because he kind of looks like he's got a Scandi haircut. Don't know why this guy's hitting him. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to go Oslo. I'm going to go Oslo. And I think that this is probably in the 60s. Hmm. Late 60s or even early? No, no. I'll go 66. Let's make a guess. It was 70. And it was Helsinki. Fuck. Damn it. Oh, no. Our worst guess. Our worst guess. 700 kilometers away, 800 kilometers away. We weren't too far. We guessed Scandi, but oh, it's so disappointing. So disappointing. And yeah, I, I thought 60s. I was a little early there. Far out. Yeah, not a bad overall score, I think. Let's see what we got. Come on. 45,909 for my first crack at Time Guesser. Have a go and see how you do. It's quite fun. It's a nice mix of geography and history. I'm really curious to know why that guy hit the other chap in the face. Guess we'll never know. Anyway, that's it for that one. Catch you later. Goodbye.